Hello, this is Dan. I want to do a quick overview, review, and assembly today on a newer pen kit. This is the Longboy Click Pen that's put out by Berea Hardwoods and it's sold by some other sellers and it's as well carried by uh, Woodcraft, which is where I got mine uh, sold as the Script Click Pen at Woodcraft. So check it out. So I'm going to show you what this kit consists of. There's two tubes to it, and I already actually already have these turned and ready to assemble. There's a much longer lower tube to the pen, and then there's a much shorter upper tube that will be uh, put together for this two tube click pen. So put those aside for a minute. These are, by the way, uh, calls for 10 millimeter drill bit, and I found that the 10 millimeter drill bit worked well for it. We have a Parker style ballpoint refill, basic, not marked, basic ballpoint spring, of course, as well. There's not too many pieces uh, for the bottom. It's got this um, uh, nib piece and then a little brass um, piece that screws on to that. That brass piece will go inside of the bottom of the long tube. And then there's a connector piece here that connects the two tubes together. So that's relatively straightforward. But then the cap, uh, the top rather, it's not capped, the top of the pen has a bunch of pieces to it. It's got five separate pieces and if you don't put them together right, you're gonna really regret it. I know this because I did the first one without looking at the instructions and I jacked it up. So make sure you follow the instructions and do it right. I'm gonna show you how these parts go together now so that hopefully you don't make the same mistake that I did. Now the way the parts go together for the top, you need to be really careful because with this there's a bunch of parts. Also we have this click mechanism that involves plastic parts that can't be uh, have direct pressure on them very much. You need to be very careful with that. And the uh, instructions that I'm looking at here from the Woodcraft uh, version of the, of the kit uh, calls for uh, drilling out a spacer block to use when assembling this together. I'm not going to do that. So we have the click mechanism. Then we have this uh, spacer piece here. And the clip needs to go on the top of that. So the clip does not go down closest to the pen. It's going to go towards the top. Then the clip fits into the spacer block and there's a little little slot for it to fit directly in. And then this uh, other piece with the rounded top will fit it on top of that. Uh, so it'll go together like this. So I have the small upper tube here. I'm gonna take on one side the coupler that puts the two tubes together. I'm gonna start that in, into one side by hand. Then I'm gonna take the click mechanism and I'm gonna put it into the other side. Now I can't press that as it is because that little plastic or nylon piece is sticking up and that would break the mechanism if I tried to push it together like that. But if I put the spacer block on there, I can at least get it started as it is. Just make absolutely sure that the little slot for the clip is facing away from the pen blank. Otherwise, you will mess it up like I did the first time I tried to do this without instructions, without looking at the instructions. That's going together well. Okay, very nice. That was very effective with no uh, waste block, spacer block made to have to do it. It worked just fine with no, no pressure on the nylon pieces there at all. Now I'm gonna put the clip into the little space where it goes and the little top piece onto that. And I'll press those together. Just making sure that the clip seats in its slot after it gets started before. Now I have just put in loosely by hand the longer lower blank onto the center coupler and I put the um, 
nib piece in there that actually slid in quite a ways on its own, but it still needs to be driven home. This may be one that you want to put a little bit of blue Loctite on just to make sure because it was a little bit looser of a fit than sometimes we like. And now I'm just going to press this together there and there. And there's a nice fit. I'm going to screw the little top click piece on and I'll unscrew the bottom to put the ink in and then we'll take a look at how it works. I want to include a quick note to mention that the bushings that come with this pen kit are a four in the set and they're all the same size. So that makes it really nice. You don't have to remember which bushing goes for which piece. All four bushings are exactly the same size. Which uh... So here's the assembled pen and uh, I'm really pretty happy with it. Uh, style wise, again, it's totally up to you. What you like, the clip, I think you can see there is a little bit bigger on top and then it kind of tapers down a little bit. It's got a pretty good amount of metal on top. Some people, you know, again, will like that more than others. The center band uh, is really minimalistic, which I like quite a bit. And then the nib piece has some meat on it too, which you may or may not like. But again, the aesthetics are totally up to you, what you like and what you don't like. I've been sitting here with this because the question we all have with these click pens is how good and reliable is the click going to be? A lot of us have problems and dislikes with some of the click pens that are out there. And so uh, I want to give you uh, an idea with this. I've been sitting here clicking this and it's a really soft click. So see if you can hear it. It's not, a, it's not very loud, this certainly does have some noise to it. But I've been sitting here clicking this off camera and I haven't had one failure yet. And a lot of times when you put together some of these click kits, you'll have like every fifth or tenth or something, you'll have a missed click where it won't work. And uh, I've not missed one yet on this. So I don't have any long term review, but out of the box, it clicks very well. It's very easy uh, to use. I want to give you a size comparison because this is these take 10 millimeter tubes. The cigar pen, which is very popular, also takes 10 millimeter tubes. And so this uh, long boy pen is a little bit longer than the uh, cigar, not a whole lot. And it's definitely thinner. It's got um, definitely a th thinner look to it than the uh, cigar pen overall. And so uh, you may want to consider adding it or at least trying it in your... Uh, Line up if you're looking for a, a two-tube click pen. This may be one to check out.